And next we have Sean Bonet from Music. Sean, are you ready? My wife and I had a friend who would bring us Polish chocolate when she visited her home in Central Europe. It was delightful, but the enjoyment was always limited. So when I want Goszka Klasyczna, I have to go to Poland myself or have a local get it for me. It's the very idea of having something you want readily available that drove me to my thesis. Among the European music literature available to us, there's a songbook called The Huguenot Psalter. Many artists contributed to the final product, but French Huguenot composer Claude Goudemel's work with it made it famous. After researching this work, I realized a crucial tool for musicologists in this field is missing, a comprehensive modern edition of the Psalter that easily allows for the music and text to be analyzed as lacking. A few scholars have transcribed aspects of the Psalter, but none offer an edition that best serve trained and non-trained musicians alike. That's why my thesis is about justifying what a 21st century edition of this work should look like, why it's needed, and the initial round of transcriptions. Older primary source documents can be discernible, but often changes in notation practice make it too distracting to really dig into the source. And for those with no foundation in how to process what they see, it's useless. If you look at the PowerPoint, you can see just how drastic changes can be. The image on the left is a primary source from the Huguenot Psalter, and the image on the right is my 21st century rendering of the same information. They convey the same thing, but they differ significantly in appearance. Thus, the, the joy of my project is telling people that I'm trying to communicate the information of one source of music by making a lot of changes to it. I then explain how that's not a contradiction because I'm preserving the essential content. I'm like a, a musical makeover artist. A great piece of music comes to me with a look that's really off-putting. And then I make it super attractive. In this process, I don't wanna set my audience up for a blind date. That's why I take care to explain the context in which this work was produced and show my knowledge of modern music notation and the older style in which the Huguenot Psalter was written. This helps ensure that I'm being true to the source. At the end of my thesis, there will still be more transcriptions to complete. However, this initial step begins to meet a need at a scholar and layman level. This project provides composers and musicologists a new way to engage with the Huguenot Psalter. And most importantly of all, it allows performers of many different skill levels to experience the joy that comes from singing this treasured music. As this work flourished when vernacularism was on the rise, it's only appropriate that I make it more readily available to the people. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Uh, fascinating. Um, so what languages are you fluent in? Uh, uh, French. French, okay. And, and English, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, we got that, obviously, yeah. Um, so how, how many of these need to be done for this to be completed? 150. Wow. Yep. And you're going to complete just a subset of that for your thesis? Yep, that's right. So uh, the amount, I have a really great advisor, and I was coming to him with this project, you know, super excited, like, oh, look, there's a need, and, and I think I can meet it. He's like, okay, that's great, but you, you need to kind of set the stage for the project to, to give it credence. And so uh, my initial hope was to do the transcriptions, but there's a lot of work that needs to go into justifying, explaining uh, the work. So I'll, I'll just have round one done uh, by the end of my thesis here. Super. Are we going to hear some of this uh, performed on campus, perhaps? Yeah, if uh, the, the opening arises as we as we can. Yes, agreed, agreed. Well, thank you, fascinating, thank you very much. Thank you so much.